Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel where we are teaching mathematics uh, for, according to the Zambian syllabus. Essentially, that is to help people that are writing their GCE exams and then they do not have time to go to class. I do believe that this channel is adequate for their preparation for exam. Alright? So, we are looking at the inverse of a matrix. 2 by 2 matrix. How do we find the inverse of a 2 matrix? A 2 by 2 matrix. Let us look at this example. Okay, if we are given this as our uh, matrix for A, to find the inverse of this matrix, we need to use this formula. This is the, uh, the denotation, or this is how we denote the inverse of a matrix. So if this was P here, we're going to say P to the power negative 1. So this symbolizes an inverse of a matrix. So if you are given a question such as A is given by this matrix, then find this expression, or we are asking you to find the inverse of a, uh, of a matrix, right? So this is telling us of an inverse. So we have 1 over Okay. So with this is the formula that is going to give us the inverse of this matrix. This is the determinant. Mod 1 over determinant multiplied by the adjoint of this matrix. So there are two things that we have to find out, which is the determinant and the adjoint. Then we multiply them together. That will give us the inverse of this matrix. Determinant, how do we find the determinant of a matrix? We have the determinant of A is equals to, we multiply these two elements in the main diagonal of a matrix. We have 3 multiplied by 1 minus negative 2 multiplied by 4. What do we get? We get um, we get 3 minus negative 8. Okay? Then when you simplify this one, this is going to give us an addition sign. We have to add this. So we're going to get 11 as our determinant. 11 is going to be uh, our determinant here. Then how do we find the adjoint? How do we find the adjoint of a, a matrix? How do we find the adjoint of a matrix? Okay? So, if I can write it here, the adjoint, the adjoint of A, the adjoint of A, how do we write the adjoint of A? The adjoint of this matrix is found by, we swap these elements that are in the main diagonal or major diagonal, they will swap, they will switch their positions. This one come here and there. So we're going to have one and then three here. That happens for the elements in the main diagonal. Then for these ones, uh, we would say we multiply negative by each of them. Okay? But it's also easier to say these elements in the minor diagonal, they switch signs they change their signs only signs will change okay these two elements in the minor diagonal sometimes you say you multiply them by negative but it is also easier to say they will change their signs signs will change so in this case they they do not switch positions only signs will change so in this case this one becomes a what a positive and then this one becomes a what we have the adjoint and then we have a determinant here all right we have the adjoint, then we have the determinant. Therefore, we can write now our inverse here. We say the inverse of this matrix is 1 over the determinant. What is our determinant? Our determinant is 11. Alright? In brackets, the adjoint. What is our adjoint? 1, negative 4. Then we have 2, 
three. All right. Having done that, uh, some people would say you can leave it there, but we can still go further and distribute the fraction here, okay? By saying you have to multiply each one of these. Of course, one multiplies by the numerators there, then this one will be denominated. So we can finally say our answer is going to be equal to uh, 1 over 11 multiplied by 1 to the 1 over 11. Even there, we're going to have negative 4 over 11. Here, we're going to have 2 over 11. Then the last part is going to be 3 over 11. This is what is going to be the inverse of this matrix. All right? I hope you are following. I hope you are following. Okay? I really hope you are following. And that is my prayer. I want everyone to be on board and to have that feel of you being in class so that you, you write at once. You don't have to be to befriend ECZ each and every year that comes your way. You are registering for mathematics. No, that should not be the case. Okay? So let us look at uh, the second example for the same. Basically, we just want to repeat the same process, but I've already uh, explained what was required of us to, to do and know about the inverse. Okay? So, How do we find our um, inverse for this one? Remember our formula. Our formula is the inverse of P is equal to 1 over determinant. Okay, we can also write it like this. Then multiplied by the adjoint. Multiplied by the adjoint of this matrix A. So we have to find the determinant and the adjoint. I did explain on how to find this. How do we find the determinant? To find the determinant of this matrix, we're going to multiply negative 7 by 2 minus 5 multiplied by 6. All right? So when you multiply this one, when we multiply this, we're going to get negative 14 minus uh, 8. All right? We're going to get... This is going to give us minus 44. Minus 44 is going to be our minus 44 is going to be our determinant here. It's going to be our determinant negative 44. Let's come to the adjoint. What are we supposed to do? This is where I explained that for the adjoint. Okay, of this matrix. We need to, these elements in the main major diagonal, they switch their uh, positions. This one will come here, this one will go there. So we have two here, then the negative seven here. It has to go with its own sign. Okay? Then these ones, we said they change their signs from what they are to the opposite. So now that these are positives here, both of them will become negatives. So we're going to have negative six, negative Five. Please, this is not all. Remember our formula. Remember our formula there. So we need to come back to this and say uh, we have 1 over determinant which is minus 44. What is our adjoint? Our adjoint is 2 minus 6 minus 5 minus seven okay so at this point we can go further and um, simplify distribute this we're going to have two over negative 44 
We're going to have negative 6 over negative 44. We're going to have negative 5 over negative 44. And here we're going to have negative 7 over negative 44. Alright? So, as you can see from this point, as you can see from this point that... Um, We can simplify. We can simplify. For instance, here, 2 is common for 2 and D. So we can say the final answer here is going to be 2 into 2. It's 1 over 2 into 44. We have minus that. All right. There we have minus a minus and a minus. You know that we're going to have a positive all right so we say 2 into this is going to be 3 2 here we have it will become a positive because we have negatives the same thing will happen here for these ones we don't have a common factor so it will just be positive the same thing will happen here This is what is going to be our answer. I hope you managed to follow. These are things, are things that you're supposed to find very simple to follow. I really want to make sure that you do appreciate the lessons that I'm providing. So please, while you have challenges, make sure that you, you give me a comment. You subscribe to my channel. You also click on the notification button. On, after you control the lesson, you give me a comment there so that I would know where we are supposed to do better and the like. Otherwise, the idea is that we must find our learning very cheaper than going to class, covering uh, uh, long distances and possibly paying a lot of money there. And when you are learning in a group, it's very difficult for you to even ask questions. But this one, you can replay it over and over until you get the concept. All right? So, let me give you questions that you can try for your okay so let's find the inverse of the following find the inverse find the inverse of the following the following matrices A B A, B, C. Take this one as your C. Then D, we can have 0 and 4. I, I really like this digit. 7, then 5. 1, 2, 3. These are enough for you to try out and give. Please make sure that you, you try out these questions. Like I did mention that, where you have, please comment. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down there and tell me why you are having issues. Alright? So those things can be worked on. Thank you so much for watching. These things are meant for you. So when you are watching, it's always my pleasure. Thank you very much. Wait for another lesson on the next part of the topic which is matrices thank you very much